In this video, we're going to learn how to create blankets, pillows, and a mattress. The plugins we're going to use is Clothworks, Artisan Tools, and Subdivision. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the first video of the Arkyan SketchUp tutorial. We're going to learn how to create our bed, mattress, and pillows. Let's get started. I'm going to delete this guy. His name is Mark. So first is I have to create my king size bed. So king size bed size is around 2030,1930. So that's the size of our king size bed. It's going to be a placeholder. So I'm going to make it a group. Double click on the surface to make it a group. Oh, if you guys want to see my keyboard, then I'm going to switch on my keyboard now. Now I'm going to extrude this surface on top. So I'm going into the group. Double click to go into the group. Press P on your keyboard to push. I'm going to push this around 200 mm and now I'm going to copy this group on top by pressing M on my keyboard, pressing Ctrl and copying it on top. So this is a 10 inch thick mattress. So now what we need to do is chamfer the corners and also make it smooth. So for that I'm going to go into the group. I'm pressing J on my keyboard to toggle visibility. So toggle visibility is a shortcut which I've assigned. So to assign that shortcut, go to Windows, click on Preferences and go to Hide, search for Hide and you can see there's this View Component Edit Rest of the Model. So just assign J and so whenever you type press J on your keyboard, you can toggle visibility between what is selected and what is not. So now I'm going to make a selection this way. I'm going to deselect the face. So I'm going to copy these lines by around 50 mm. I'll show you what happens when I don't copy these lines and I just use the subdivision plugin to subdivide the surface. So now when I click the subdivision tool, you can see that it creates a gem shape, but I don't really need a gem shape because it's not a gem shape bed. So I'm going to click back, toggle back the subdivision. So now what I need to do is add loops or the edges so that it subdivides the surface of these edges and makes only the edges smooth. I'm going to open the group, select the edge and deselect the face. I'm going to copy this by 50 mm. So now when I select the group and click on subdivide, you can see that this, this edge remains intact while the rest goes on to create the gem shape. Similarly, I'm going to create loops on all sides. So I'm going to go into the group again. I'm going to select this side, deselect the face and move these lines by 50 mm. Now we can use the artisan knife subdivide tool to create these loop edges. So for that first I open the group, go to camera, palette projection and camera top view. Now on the top view I'm going to use the knife subdivide. Before I use the knife subdivide I'm going to give a reference. So I'm going to give 50mm from this side and this side. And now I'm going to click on knife subdivide and subdivide from this edge to this edge and similarly this edge. To this edge. So now if I go, go to my 3D view, you can see that we created our subdivisions on all sides. So now when I select this group and click on subdivide, you can see that we created a perfect mattress. Now the problem is that if you see at the edges, it's a little jagged. So to make it more smooth, we can go to our subdivision UI, which is toggle entity info, and we can increase the iterations to make it more smooth. We can leave it at 3 because the more number of iterations you give, the heavier the object becomes and it will take a toll on your SketchUp software. So I'm going to leave it on 3 and close. So we've created our mattress. Now we're going to create the blanket for this mattress. Before I create the blanket, I'm also going to create a floor, make a rectangle, make it a group and extrude it down. And now we're going to use the Clothworks plugin created by Anton Synesthesia. It's a great plugin to create cloth, pillows, curtains, and so on. So first you need to right click on the group, go to Clothworks and make cloth. And then you right click again, go to Clothworks, go to one cloth and apply an adaptive grid. Now before I apply an adaptive grid, you can see that when I open the group, it's not subdivided into different faces. So when you don't subdivide a rectangle and then drop it down onto a mat mattress, it doesn't wrap around the mattress. So that is why we subdivide. So select the face, right click, go to Clothworks, 
click on one cloth and click on adaptive grid we're going to give a spacing of around 40 mm press ok so the more spacing there is the better the cloth will generate on your mattress now our cloth is created now we need to create uh, our colliders so you can select the mattress right click on the mattress go to clothworks and make colliders similarly for your bed make collider and also for your flow now we need to also check our ui so we can select the cloth go to ui and the main setting that we need to check is that our gravity is 9.8 which is our earth's gravity and we can leave the rest of the settings as is so now when you click on the toggle play tool it will start the simulation of dropping the rectangle onto your mattress and creating a blanket and once you're happy with the result you can click on the stop simulation so this creates your cloth now if you want to give a thickness to this cloth you can right click on the cloth go to cloth works click on one cloth and generate thickness we're going to give a thickness of around 4 mm and click on ok so now you can see that we've created a cloth and also given a thickness of 4 mm now if you want to apply a material to this cloth you can click on the cloth and click on the undrape tool which is toggle drape so this brings back brings it back to our normal rectangle now we can go to our materials search for fabric and apply this material onto our fabric and now you can click on undrape again and you can see that we've created our material now the problem is that you can see that these materials are not wrapped around correctly so for that what we need to do is click on undrape again select the group and go to your V-Ray fit to world option so I'm using the triplanar projection click on triplanar projection world and now when you drape it back you can see that the material has been created properly on the blanket so that's how you create blankets or any table covers any clothes along those lines in SketchUp using the Clothworks plugin now we're going to learn how to create the pillows so first we're going to ignore these colliders so right click and ignore these colliders because we don't need them now make a rectangle make it a group bring it on top I'm going to follow the same steps so right click go to clothworks and make cloth and again go to clothworks one cloth and apply an adaptive grid of 40 mm now we can generate a thickness for this rectangle so right click go to clothworks and generate thickness we'll say 7.5 mm now we can start the simulation now before i start the simulation we have to go to our settings and change few settings here so i'm going to reduce the gravity to zero I'm also going to reduce the viscosity to zero. I'm going to go to cloth and switch on self collision and switch off preserve shapes, which will help the cloth to unwrap itself and inflate. I'm going to increase the stretch to around 0.6 and increase the bend to one. With these settings in place, I'm going to start the simulation. I'm also going to stop the simulation for this cloth. So go to clothworks and click on ignore. So now we're going to only do the simulation for our pillows. So click on the toggle play. And now you can see that our pillow starts inflating. So once you're happy with this result, I've stopped the play as I'm happy with the result, but it doesn't look real when I bring it down. So I want to ideally drop this pillow on the mattress. So I'm going to move the pillow on top a bit, select this mattress, right click on clothworks and make it a collider. So now I'm going to drop this pillow down onto the mattress. So for that first we need to click on the mattress, right click and make it a collider. You can also decrease the thickness to around 2 for the collider. And now we need to give a gravity of around 3. And we can decrease the bend. And we can increase the viscosity. And now if you click on play. We have a perfect pillow. So now to apply a material for this pillow, it's similar to creating material for your blankets you need to undrape it first apply the material also make sure that it's fit to world view by using the triplanar projection world view and now when you drape it back you can see that we've created our pillows i'm going to copy this to our right and rotate it a bit so you can see that we created our blankets and our pillows and if you want to use the same settings for to create pillows in the future you can go to your ui Go to Clothworks and save it as a preset and call it as Pillow Preset. You can use this preset whenever you want to create pillows in SketchUp.
I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you do like this video, please leave me a like and subscribe and also click on the bell button for future videos. In the next video, we're going to learn how to create curtains in SketchUp using Clothworks plugin. We also have a Udemy SketchUp course where I take you step by step in creating a kitchen and doing a photorealistic render of a kitchen using SketchUp. The link is in the description. I'm also giving you guys a 50% discount so you can use the coupon to enroll into the course. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.